What's up everyone, welcome back to another Euro fishing video. Today I've got something very special for you as you can see by the thumbnail. But before we go any further I just want to quickly mention that the Xbox and PC have already had the update and the new DLC. PlayStation 4 users have just got to stay patient, it's in the hands of PlayStation. So we're just waiting for that update to be confirmed by them and then we will get it, I'm sure it will be soon so let's just stay patient. Right, so here we are, we're having a little stalk around Preza Del Monte Bravo. As you can see here, I'm already into a fish. Feels good, it's absolutely tearing off. Wow, look at this, it's just heading for the horizon. Oh my days. Now, I'm using Tiger Nuts, um, like I said, very close. All I was basically doing on this trip was uh, concentrating on the bubbles that you see come up. And what I gathered was, when you see a cluster of five or six bubbles, that's usually the sign of a slightly bigger fish. Now, if you don't know what I mean, go to the lake, have a look, and you'll see sort of two or three bubbles come up, sort of groups of bubbles. Then when you look and you see a cluster of five or six, stick your rod on it, and I can almost guarantee that'll be a superb fish. This fish is heading for land by the looks of it. Let's hope he's just uh, changes his mind. Hopefully we can turn him. He's out of 50 yards now, he's in 11 foot of water, he's quite near the surface so he's just under the surface at 2 feet. We are on the 20 mil pop up tiger nuts on a size 4 rig guys. I just want to thank everyone for their support also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you're new around here, that would be really cool. The channel's doing so well at the moment and I really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving us. Wow, this is really pulling hard. I'm trying to keep that line tension as always guys I'm trying to keep it up but as, if you notice with the bigger fish the line tension sort of bounces so you have to keep adjusting it using the d-pad just, just pull it back come on see if we can uh, get this one in not bad I mean this is the first bite literally the first bite I've found these bubbles plump the rod on top of it and here we are doing well we are doing well just up that line that reels on what 38 at the moment so probably not massive but definitely feels like a boss fish I've not seen a cattail so I'm definitely gonna say carp and also you'll notice just before I got the bite there was like a big carp tail sort of turned up and went as if it was diving down towards the bait let's see how we get on here come on don't go that way get away move away from the edge awesome right we've turned him we've managed to get him back into this bay here he is come on come on we got this oh he's getting closer he's in the danger zone guys that eight yard dash come on come on as you can see I've got friends in on the lobby as well during this multiplayer yes he's ready look at the size of that it was like an underwater torpedo. Yes, which one's that? That looks like it. That's not cuts. That's um. Well, I'm not sure which one that is. I think I've had him before. Norax, 62 pound, three ounces. Look at the size of the belly on this thing. He's definitely been to McDonald's, if you ask me. So, there you go. In the edge, guys. Let's get him back and see what else we can do. Wow, what an awesome start that was. Norax on our first cast. Like I said, I'm just looking for groups of bubbles around the lake and walking around the lake and uh, just sort of taking a different approach to it. We're into a fit. Wow, did you see the size of that tail? That was a big tail, guys. Look at that. It is tearing off. Please don't go on the bank. Oh, my days. This definitely feels like one of the better boss fish, without a doubt. Definitely a massive cat. You saw its tail two or three times there. Just the marker just sinking away there. Wow, look at that. 33 on the uh, reel. And we are maxed out. I'm really giving this fish some stick as well. Trying to keep hold of it. But it's just setting sail. Look at that. 42, 43, 44 yards. Just plowing away. 50 yards. Come on. He's gone to exactly the same place as what Norax just did. Let's just keep... Uh, 
keep the tension on him hopefully he doesn't get to that bank I've just up the tension to 35 and just sort of holding I'm not pulling on the rod I'm just really taking it slow let's just see how we get on now due to the length of this fight as you see there I'm having to cut pieces of this video out for you guys because this fight was 35 minutes long so I've tried to narrow it down so that you're not just seeing me play one fish for 35 minutes. So you're going to see little sort of um, transitions, different clips where I've sort of cut the fight out a little bit. I can absolutely assure you it, it is the same fish. You can see the same players in. Um, the other two players are now watching me fight this fish. Look at that. That is huge. Come on. This is definitely one of the better cats. 15 yards 14 yards wow he's coming in quite quick i'm not so sure which one this is it looks very dark definitely one of the dark ones like mowgli i think it is is very pale looking sort of very light brown this definitely ain't it's definitely one of the dark ones I'm not sure what the, the dark sort of bigger catfish are I know there's Cheetah, but it definitely doesn't seem like Cheetah. Cheetah takes people out sort of 200 plus yards. This fish only made it out to what? 50, 60 yards? And I managed to turn it and bring it back. So, but wow, this is just fighting. It's hovering around 9, 10 yards and it's just staying there. It's, it's fighting so hard. I can assure you when I was uh, doing this sort of live, it made my hand sweat where it was such a long fight it really was a big fight he's trying to get sort of around that little swim now i don't want him to go around that corner because i'll have to drag him back across the bank and we definitely don't want that this could be i don't want to say it this could be a new record i think but I'm just get him in as you can see i've upped the real tension now to 39 but i'm not pulling on the rod okay well, he's in 15 feet of water. He's, he is diving down. He's sort of coming up to the surface. He's going like just under a foot. And then he dives down to about 6, 7 feet. Real sort of uh, almost like a whale. Just going up and down in the water levels. Never had anything like this before. And I sort of get him to about 8, 9 yards. And then he sort of bolts back out to 12 yards. Real, real tough fish this one. I feel like he's beating me up come on i'm just lowering that tension now because he's starting to pull when the fish pulls i've got to lower the, the real tension which you can see in the bottom left hand corner and as um i sort of get a bit of a stalemate with him i up the real tension and just try and ease him back towards me try and tire him out but he definitely isn't tiring out very much it's just hovering 10 12 yards just going backwards and forwards in this little bay i'm in come on in you come We've got to get him in. The pressure's on now. Come on. And as you can see, we're still fighting him. Uh, time has passed. About another sort of five, ten minutes has gone past. Like I said, I edited the video so that you guys could see the fight. Rather than seeing the full 35 minutes, you guys definitely don't want to be seeing 35 minutes of me battling this fish. Believe me nine yards still still at that nine yards still hovering backwards and forwards i apologize about the other lines um we've got friends fishing and they're sort of hooking into some big ones as well i have sort of uh stalked around this lake a few times before and been snapped up so many times but my argument is if you're going to catch a hundred pound or a hundred and fifty pound catfish in real life you just your chances of landing them are very very slim so we've got to keep that in mind. God, he's really battling hard. Just want to get him in. Come on. Just pull in on that rod. I've got 25 pound line on as well. So another 10 minutes has passed. As you can see, I've edited that sort of 10 minutes out. And uh, we're still battling him. He's just not moving. He's around the sort of 9, 10, 11 yard mark is just going left, right, left, right and I cannot get him any closer to me. As soon as I pull on it, it's almost like the line's going to break. Just stay impatient now. I know now, if this fish was going to make a run for land, it would have already done it. 
so the hard work is already done I'm, I'm on the home straight I've just got to stay patient keep pulling and, and reeling and just keep working the fish try and get him to tire out right. if I can get him to tire don't you go around now that's it just turn him again if I can tire him out then he's in the net guarantee come on just need him to come round here come round here get in my net we just want a picture of you we'll have a little look at you and then we'll put you back I promise we won't eat you come on it's really really pulling it's going back out 13 yards 14 yards just doesn't want to give up this fish this fish is like a beast it really is like fighting a submarine I swear to you it's just diving up and down it goes down at the moment whereas before it was going like up to a foot just under the surface of the water it's now diving down as much as 12 feet and I've never ever had that before with any other fish this better be worthwhile if this comes out at 50 pound I'm gonna make a written complaint <laughs> come on we got this As you can see, the uh, SAS Hooli's just having a look. He's saying he can see it. It's massive. Look at the size of that tail. That tail is like a beast. Come on, we got this. Still fighting him on that 10, 11 yards. And I've cut so much of the clip out um, due to the pure length of the fight, guys. Come on, in you come. We want you in now. 12, 11, 10. Oh, he's coming towards me. Eight, eight yards. This could be it. Seven yards. Six, five. Yes! He's ready for the net. Look at the size of it. Wow. Let's get him in the net. Yes! Look at the size of that. It's pitch black. Puma, 90 pounds on the button. What an absolute beast of a fight. I was sweating like a dog. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, smash that like, hit that subscribe. I hope you have a good day. Look after yourselves. Take care. Peace.